So this video was actually inspired by one of you guys. So you didn't request this video in particular, or at least I haven't seen that comment yet, but I was looking through my comments and I, I saw this one comment, something to the effect of uh, a certain fragrance that they wore oftentimes would last through a shower. Like they would wear the fragrance, they would shower, and faintly they could still smell that on their skin even afterwards, which sounds crazy, but then I thought about it and I'm like, that's happened to me before. Like I vividly remember wearing some of these fragrances here, the ones in this video, and washing myself, taking a shower, and still very, very faintly, the area that I sprayed, I could still pick up on it a little bit. That's crazy. So today we have 10 fragrances that potentially could last through a shower. Believe it or not, that's crazy stuff. These are potent, these are strong, and I find for me that when I do decide to wear these, I have to be conscious of it when I am taking a shower. Uh, and by that, I mean I scrub the area much more thoroughly. Like for example, my neck, uh, I actually have to scrub it to really make sure I get these off so I can you know, switch over to the next thing and not have any sort of overlap there. It's really not a big deal anyway, but it just goes to show if you aren't diligent with your washing techniques when you're wearing these fragrances, they will survive through a shower. I will provide links to all of these down below so you can pick them up if you want to. If you want some strong, potent, long-lasting fragrances, you've come to the right place. And I'm glad you're here with me. We're going to start off with Mansara Oud Lemon Mint. So one of the more affordable niche fragrances out there, the entire brand that is, uh, typically on disc counters, you're looking at around 100 ish dollars for 120 mil full presentation. Now that's going to fluctuate sometimes 105, sometimes up to 120. Sometimes you get lucky and these will pop up for like 80 to 90 for 120 mil full presentation, uh, sometimes testers with cap. I mean that price point, either of those price points, 120 or 70 or 80 is absolutely unthinkable for a niche fragrance. So make sure you're diligent and looking for these. I update my community tab all the time, get subscribed. And if these come up for a good price, I do post about it. But the fact that you can get a product this good for that little amount of money sometimes is absolutely insane. It's got lemon, it's got almond, there's hints of oud in here, and it has a little bit of a green facet which would give off this mintiness. I love how this smells. Not gonna be for everybody. To some, it may be a little bit medicinal uh, because of the oud in here, it is that Mansara oud. But you know, for me, I like it a lot one that I enjoy, and I know a lot of you guys like it as well. Some don't, which is what I would expect out of something like this, a bit more daring. Now, this one has a hard time kind of fitting in because it's kind of marketed as a spring and summer fragrance given the bottle, the name, but the smell is much heavier than that. It's sweet, so people kind of have a hard time figuring out where should I wear this? And my advice to you is wear it wherever you want, basically. Whatever you feel comfortable with, do it. For me, I have no problem wearing it in summer evenings. Summer daytime, I'm choosing something different, but when the evening comes around, the sun goes down, uh, the air starts to cool off a little bit, I'm going for this one. Spring, it can work throughout the majority of spring if it's nice and cool for you. Uh, that's kind of where this one fits in. Long lasting, very potent stuff. And we're gonna move to the next one here. It is Dior Homme Intense. We've got lavender, iris, and ambrette. So it kind of gives off a little bit of a chocolatey, smooth, sweet smell. The lavender gives off a little bit of a kind of masculine balance. Dior Homme Intense is uh, one of those fragrances that's been with me for a very long time. I didn't get a bottle right away. This was one that I actually sampled first. And just the other day, I actually found my original uh, eight milliliter sample vial of it. Empty, of course, I burned through it, but found it in a box and I could still smell uh, you know, the scent of it on that atomizer after several years of it sitting in a box and being empty. That's a true story, that's pretty crazy. And so, you know, when I sampled it for the first time, I was expecting to not really like it that much. I was new to collecting, but when I tried it for the first time, man, I fell in love. I'm like, wow, this is what this fragrance is all about. It was getting a lot of hype at that time. Still does, to be fair. And so for me, it, it kind of became one of those collection staples. I've got multiple bottles of this one. I really enjoy wearing it in the wintertime a lot. I love how it smells. Smooth, chocolatey, creamy, amazing stuff and very potent. This will last through a shower, no problem. Same with Dior Homme Parfum. That one's much harder to get. The Intense is more readily available, but either of those 
will last through a shower. I got to make sure I scrub them off heavily when I do shower after wearing them uh, to get it gone completely. Same with clothing, they'll last forever on clothes too. Up next, we have Prada Amber Pore Ohm Intense. So we have patchouli, myrrh, and of course, amber are some of the main notes. This one's going to be a bit more traditional, masculine, and somewhat old school smelling. So bear with me a little bit. Uh, the patchouli is the star of the show, kind of gives it that um, kind of traditional, classic men's masculine smell. Of course, the myrrh giving off some sweetness, and the amber also giving off some sweetness. It's a little bit smoky. Uh, it's woody, it's resinous, it is so potent though, so strong. Will last on your skin through a shower or several times of washing your hands. You know, I've had this one sprayed on my hand before, uh, which is not really a good spot to test things for the long term, right? If you wash your hands several times a day like most of us do. And so uh, even after doing that, right, I've washed my hands, you know, three, four, five times throughout the day and I would smell my hand and this is still faintly there. Same with the shower, I gotta scrub it off in the shower. Alrighty, let's go with a cheapy. We've been on the more expensive side here, so we're gonna bring it back down to earth with Bentley for Men Absolute. Cedarwood, pink pepper, papyrus, olibanum. Man, do I love this one. I absolutely adore this fragrance. So dry, so woody, almost to the extent of smelling a bit like pencil shavings, which sounds very strange. I don't want that to discourage you. And in fact, sometimes I even hesitate saying that. But if you look online, when people talk about, for example, Gucci Porum 1, kind of the brown colored fragrance, brown juice, um, which is discontinued, or you take a look at you know reviews on Bentley here, which smells similar to that one, people will say it has this dry pencil shaving smell. And to that effect, uh, there's a little bit of that going on, but it has a little bit of a booziness up top like this alcohol rum accord, uh, spicy, woody, so masculine, so heavy, so strong, and very, very potent on skin or on clothing as well. I mean, this stuff will last for ages. And did I mention, it's only about 30 bucks. Alrighty, let's go with another incredibly potent woody scent. This one is Terre d'Hermes uh, Parfum, I believe. Terre d'Hermes Parfum. Yep, that's what it is. Um, this is the parfum concentration, uh, the pure perfume concentration, parfum, whatever, of uh, Terre d'Hermes here. This one's got orange, it's got woody notes, grapefruit, oak moss, but it's very woods heavy, very dry, very earthy, kind of in a similar vein to the Bentley, although this one actually steps it up even more. Uh, very, very woods and almost vetiver, dry, you know, the orange kind of gives it this earthy orange smell. This is not for the faint of heart. The Bentley isn't either, but I would say between the two, this is gonna be even more daring, even more challenging. I mean, it's to the next level. If you've smelled Terre d'Hermes and it's a bit too much for you, even still, you wanna stay far away from this one. This is the maximum concentration of an already dry and woody scent, but I mean, it lasts on skin for so long, lasts on clothing for so long, if you're just after performance and you happen to like the smell of Terre d'Hermes, the Parfum's the way to go. A little bit of a newer release up next. I think it's gonna be my scent of the day. Um, it's YSLY Parfum. So this one has sage, aldehydes, amberwood, apple, tonka bean, all of that stuff. Oh man, I love it. Not afraid to admit that. YSLY EDP, another one of my favorites. I like that one and this one so much because it's a little bit of a different twist on the blue fragrance DNA. Uh, I'm also not afraid to admit that I love blue fragrances. Sauvage, Dylan Blue, Blue de Chanel, Aqua Atlantique. I love them. I wear them heavily, especially throughout warmer seasons, you know, spring, summer, uh, kind of early fall even. And so it, it can be easy to kind of get worn out on those fragrances, Blue de Chanel, Sauvage, right? Uh, so when I want a bit of a different twist, a blue fragrance with a little bit more of a sweet and maybe more playful young approach, I go for the YSL Ys. You know, the EDP was my favorite until the Parfum came out. Now the Parfum is giving the EDP a run for its money. And uh, for me, it would be very hard to choose. I would probably choose the Parfum or Lay Parfum. It's actually an EDP concentration, but I would probably choose this one, but it would be tough. I still love both. I wear them both at the same time. I'll layer them up, no problems. Gonna be my scent of the day. I'll apply it at the end of the video here. Wiley Parfum, it will last on my skin throughout a shower without breaking a sweat. Let's go over to another niche fragrance. We have Memo Paris African Leather. 
So this one has cardamom. It's got leather, of course. There's also saffron in here. I uh, love this stuff. I still remember smelling it for the first time and being like, this is what I've been missing out on for a good few years. I've, I've heard about this fragrance uh, ever since I first started out for the most part. Um, back in early, mid-2017 when I really started taking this seriously, I would see this one brought up. And uh, at that time, it was way out of my league. I'm like, okay, I'm not even going to try to get a sample. I'm not even going to try to touch that stuff because I couldn't afford it, right? I didn't want to be forking over the money on niche like this. It wasn't until several years later that I finally was able to get my nose on it. And I was just like, wow, like this has not been in my life for going on five years. That's a problem because I love it. It's cardamom and leather all the way. Spicy, oriental, sexy, sweet. Absolutely love this stuff. Niche fragrance, right? Not going to be for everybody, of course. I feel like I shouldn't have to say that, but I also feel like I need to, judging off the comments I see sometimes. People blind buying stuff like this and getting mad when they don't like it. It's spicy. It's cardamom. It's leather. Not for everybody, but I mean, it will last on your skin throughout the entire shower. So if you hate it, but all you want is something that will last on your skin, even when you wash it, uh, you'll like that. Okay, let's go with this one next. Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Man. Now this is the limited edition parfum that I'm holding up. Uh, the EDP works as well. And the reason why I know this is because back when I was first starting out, kind of... Uh, around the time I was starting my channel. So it would have been, I started in uh, end of 2017. I was wearing the EDP or the EDT rather uh, in the middle of 2017. Uh, it would last through a shower. So I can I can attest to that. I don't wear it as much anymore. Uh, I, I think either version or any of the versions will do that. EDT, EDP, the Parfum, they're all gonna last a very long time. I've gotten great performance out of this Parfum as I've been testing it. Like I mentioned, the EDT back in 2017 when I wear it also would last through a shower, also a great performer. And of course, you guys know what this one's about. I don't even need to list off the note breakdown. It's an Aventus clone. It's much more smoky. It's a smokier take on the DNA than something like Explorer or Mercedes-Benz Select. And even more smoky in some instances than uh, actual Creed Aventus of the newer batches. Very birch, smoky, heavy, kind of this tar smell. Uh, potent stuff. Love it or hate it. If you're anti-clone or pro-clone, whatever. For me, I don't care. It just kind of, it works well. I know you guys like it, and it's a good option that will last through a shower. All right, we're starting to whittle this one down to the end here. We've got Tom Ford Ombre Leather. This is going to be the original. They have a new parfum. Uh, you know, I'm kind of indifferent. I like the parfum. Don't get me wrong, but also, I like the original. I need to test the parfum a little bit more as well. I don't know. I, they aren't all that different to me, so... Whichever one is cheaper at this point is kind of where I'd recommend you to get. That's kind of where I sit with it right now. It's got leather. It's got jasmine. It's really all you need to know, man. Really, all you need to know is leather. The jasmine, it's not really floral, but it does give it a little bit of a fresh balance. It's a nice, clean, uh, modern, designer-level, masculine leather fragrance. It's not animalic. It's not earthy like maybe Tuscan leather would be to some of you guys. Very challenging stuff, Tuscan leather that is. But this one here is much more wearable, more down to earth. Going to be more for the guy who wants to play it safe but still get a ton of compliments. And on top of all of that, if you want it to last through your shower, there you go. And we're going to end this video with another cheapie. And it's always kind of weird because it, it's a shock to me that this one is as cheap as it is from Lalique. It's Ancre Noir Extreme. So we've got vetiver, incense, and cypress as some of the main notes. One thing I also do like to point out, I do this every time, bear with me. For people who are new though, I'm going to show you. Tester, see it? It's engraved in the bottle. I don't know if you can see that or not. Tester. Can you see it? Tester. And look what it has. It's got a cap. Uh, so there you go. You can buy these as a tester and save even more money, probably three or four bucks, depending on what it is. But still, three or four bucks is three or four bucks. Uh, the only difference will be the box. So if you can live with a plain white box that most of us probably throw away, then you can get this bottle for cheaper and still have full presentation on the outside here with the cap. Uh, usually $30 and under. Again, tester will be a bit less, sometimes 25, sometimes closer to 20. That is just mind-boggling to me. It's smoky, it's earthy, it's vetiver. 
it's going to be the closest to something like Terre de Hermes Parfum here that I featured earlier on. Um, both vetiver heavy, both very dry and smoky, closest to this, but also still different as well. This one's a little bit more sweet, uh, but it's going to be in that similar vein. So you have to like woods, you have to like dry fragrances, you have to like vetiver fragrances to get along with this one. But if you like all of that, if all of that checks out for you, you're going to love it. And you'll find that when you wear this one, you hop in the shower or you jump back out, you smell wherever you sprayed it on. If you didn't scrub that spot good, it's still going to be hanging out with you. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for me. That is 10 fragrances that have the potential to last through a shower, at least on me. It's gonna be different for everybody, of course, skin chemistry and all of that. But for me, I mean, these I have to be aware of. Like I mentioned, you know, if I wear these, I gotta be like, oh yeah, I wore a uh, Aoud Lemon Mint today. Let me, you know, give the neck a little bit more attention, scrub that off even more. You know, if you have maybe some hair on your neck, you know, it'll stick to that. Maybe if you spray it in your beard a little bit, it'll stick to that as well. You got to really scrub this stuff off. This stuff is no joke. Links will be down below. That's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.